Today, we had the episode 67 part 4 update in Toilet Tower Defense. So there is a new unit and some new toilets and VIP rewards. Look at this right here. If you have the VIP game pass, now you can actually claim 20 gems and a random boost. So either luck or coin boost every 4 hours. If you don't like and subscribe, I will turn the VIP rewards sideways. But the new unit is the Shield Cameraman. So this guy is pretty cool. He only costs 200 50 and starts out doing 400 DPS and can literally block every single attack. And not only does he block the attack, but he does 5,000 damage back to the thing that attacked him. So rockets, they go back to the rocket toilet and then lose 5,000 health. Literally anything that stuns him, he blocks and damages them instead. So I have a new strategy with him. It is scientist, pumpkin farmer, because that max you can have only 5 money units, including for scientists and then scientist TV man the old guy is pretty much good until like wave 20 something and then we need the godly of course but let's go to turkey town by the way turkey town and nightmare have all the new toilets the new toilets are all pretty strong so none of them are on anything lower than nightmare but it started already so I'm gonna put a pumpkin farmer and then start with the scientist now I'm gonna skip we're gonna get 300 okay all four scientists are down I'm gonna put the first First shield cameraman at this area in the end. Honestly, replacing one of the farms with the engineer might have been a better option. The shield cameraman is just chilling in anything that is way too fast is gonna make it way in the front by the end. So everything will be even more spread out and his one cooldown won't even be too big of a problem. Another fun fact is you can pretty much put him anywhere. He doesn't have to be around any healing units because he can't get stunned. So I could put one right here, I could put one at the front, and I think I'll actually put one at this corner because when you upgrade him he's gonna be able to reach over here i'm pretty sure look at him go he's only level one and he's destroying the spider toilets okay maybe we should upgrade this one because he he is not one-shotting them and some things might get passed if he doesn't one-shot all of these but for just 300 now he does a thousand dps okay good he's not letting anything get past and we can upgrade the scientists some more Ooh, he's not doing too great against the boss toilet well i'll have this one upgraded more by the time the boss toilet gets back there, it'll be fine. You can pretty much carry in the beginning so you can focus on upgrading your scientists. I'll try getting all of these maxed out by like wave 22, I guess that's gonna be my goal. We're gonna need to do a lot of damage when these guys get over here, so I'm gonna actually be getting that 600 upgrade. Now look at him go, 3000 DPS, he can just destroy that boss toilet. Let me turn on the sound. He just hits them with his shield. I'm gonna get the 300 upgrade on this one too, so that he can actually one shot things. Whenever something attacks him, he does 5,000 damage no matter what to them. So if the dual claw toilets attack him in the beginning, they only have like 5,000 something health. So they just like instantly die. Just in case I'm putting a barrier right here. I don't think anything is gonna get past though. This strategy is gonna go pretty crazy. Is the jetpack police toilet gonna attack him? Let's find out. Nope, he isn't. He's too scared. 600 upgrade for this guy. So now you can one shot all the glasses toilets. Oh wait, here's a fun fact. We actually buffed him where not only does he do 5,000 damage to most things that stun him for one second, but pretty much for every second something stuns him, when he blocks it, that does 5,000 damage. So if something's gonna stun him for three seconds, he does 15,000 damage. So essentially, he's like the best counter to things that stun other things besides medic, cameraman, and camera repair drone, but those only heal units. This guy actually does damage back to the things. By wave 11, I have all level 4 scientists and a level 3 pumpkin farm, and I got this guy to level 4 once he's level 4, he does like 5,200 something DPS, and he attacks a little bit faster, which is nice. Like, look at the dual claw toilets, they're gonna try to stun him, never mind, they can't, or they, they can, but they instantly die when they do. I'll remember what the explosion guy does. Oh, look at him go, he blocked the explosion. You still need something good to get all the really fast guys, like the boss toilet 2.0, because he has the jetpack. Looks like the scientist TV man is gonna have to come in clutch with his 50k barrier, and this guy will lower the boss toilet. I think we're fine, probably. Yeah, we got him. He didn't even hit the barrier. All level 5 scientists by wave 16, and the pumpkin farmer's maxed out. I think I'll actually get the 
3,500 upgrade on this shield cameraman. And there we go. Now he does 10,000 DPS. Now I'll save to max out the scientists. But I have a pretty good counter to anything fast. So let me skip real quick so we can max out a scientist. And in a few waves, I'll place it. Since the UFO toilet attacks him multiple times, every time he blocks it, he does like another 10,000 damage. That was like 30k extra damage for free. Oh wait, Buzzsaw. Okay, good. The barrier got him. Flamethrower toilet. But every time he blocks the flame, it does like another a lot of damage. He only tried attacking him once though. Oh, the flashlight rocket toilet is making it pretty far. I kind of want to get the 6,000 upgrade, but I don't have 6,000 yet. Come on, buddy. Come here. Okay, good. He's attacking this guy. He took a bit of damage. 150k. I think we can get him. And there's the 6,000 upgrade. Let's go. Ultimate cameraman barrier. And I have maxed out all my scientists by wave 24. So now it is time for the godly. Oh, the boss toilet still has 330k. That might not be good. I think we're fine. We stunned them a bit. He's only at 60k. Bro, claw toilet is confused or something. He tried to grab the shield cameraman, but it didn't work, so he's just standing there. <laughs> I guess technically the claw toilet grabs the shield and it doesn't do anything. Upgraded Titan cameraman can absorb like four stuns, so I think he's gonna be safe right here. Most things are gonna attack the shield cameraman probably. We also have a low GFX mode in this update where right now it just doesn't show explosions, but we're gonna add more to it soon, like probably not showing the textures of the map or something like that. Since I brought the godly, I probably should have brought a healing unit and set up the pumpkin farmer. We don't need a healing unit, we just need the second shield cameraman right here, yay! I got level 7 upgraded Titan Cinema Man, he has one of the claws that stops things. And one upgraded Titan Cinema Man maxed out on wave 34. Here's one of the new toilets, the ultra laser toilet, he uses all of the lasers to stun one thing for a long time, because him being able to stun 11 things would be way too overpowered. Then here is the new rocket toilet, the ultra rocket launcher toilet. He has 16 rockets, but they cannot regenerate. But let's look at him. He's, oh, he didn't really shoot the, didn't really shoot too much. He basically just shoots one or two, like, every now and then. I've got two maxed out ultimate cameraman barriers, so I'm probably just gonna max out this shield guy, this shield guy, and then start on a second upgraded Titan Cinema Man. Oh, yeah, I have auto skip on, and it's wave 50. I just realized I have auto skip on. Um, I wasn't really paying too much attention, but luckily nothing is making it far at all. I've literally auto skipped until wave 50. I have two max out upgraded Titan Cinema Men. One of them is only level six, so almost three maxed out, and I'll probably get the third maxed out before the game ends, or at least the 15,000 upgrade. Oh, yeah, I can just, I can sell all my scientists. It's not like I need them anymore. All right, 15k upgrade, and I'm about to max them out after we get this soldier rocket toilet. Nope, I guess after this boss toilet 4.0. Or the massive buzzsaw oven, but that's crazy. You could literally skip to wave 50 with this strategy. Probably could have turned on auto skip earlier, and there's a 20k upgrade, three maxed out upgraded Titan Cinema Men versus one giant turkey toilet. Let's see what happens. Oh, he stopped to stun them, but it didn't work. 200k health, and he's gonna be in the range of those guys' lasers. Yep, we won at 39 minutes. So yeah, that is the new update. Oh wait, I forgot to show one thing. Or actually two things. Uh, here is the flying quad buzzsaw toilet. Um, his his arms are supposed to be animated. It's not supposed to look like that. Well, we'll, we'll fix that soon. But yeah, he's a little funny. Wait, if he looks like this, then how does he attack? Um, oh, he brings, he's only supposed to bring in one buzzsaw at once. Yeah, we gotta fix his animation. Then here's the small scientist toilet. He has one laser that stuns for a while and is pretty fast. He isn't that strong. This is his health at wave 25, so like in the middle of the match, 552,000, and then the saw one is at 644,000, but he is definitely a little bit faster than the saw. So that's pretty much it for the video. As always, subscribe to notifications on and like the video, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.